Hey everybody, I'm Mikey G and today we'll be taking a closer look at the Soho watercolors. Now, Soho claims that their 7 milliliter tubes can produce as much color as 20 milliliter tubes in other leading national brands. So uh, using that 1 to 3 ratio, we're going to see if that's in fact the case and see if we can prove it. So the first test I want to do is an opacity test. I have two equally filled uh, jugs of water here, and you'll notice that when I shine my laser through it, you uh, will see the laser very clearly on the other side. What I intend to do is fill one of these batches up with a full serving of Brand X uh, watercolor, and then I'm going to use two-thirds less of the Soho in the other one, and see how much light it blocks. Let's try that. Brand X, now onto the Soho. Now it's the moment of truth, we're going to see how much light passes through the uh, Brand X and then how much light passes through the Soho using two-thirds less paint. And I'm not getting anything at all. Now let's see how the Soho does. The opacity is very similar uh, at two-thirds less of the Soho uh, than of the leading national brand. Let's see how it performs on watercolor paper and see what it looks like to our eye when we compare uh, two-thirds less paint of the Soho to a full helping of the leading national brand. That will be the real test. Colors that have the same name in different brands don't always match, so that's why I went ahead and tested the colors to make sure I got the closest matches, not for uh, strength of the color, but for color likeness. We're gonna start with the yellow ochre. I'm gonna start with the Brand X. I'm gonna do three grams of Brand X uh, to one gram of the Soho and see how it measures up. This is the Brand X. I'm gonna add some water to it, and then I'm going to do the Soho, add some water to that, and we're gonna lay them down and see how they look. First glance, they look fairly similar, but I think what we want to do is uh, lay down all these colors, whip them to dry, and then see how they look once they're dry. Now we're going to get back to filling with water. So now that our watercolor swatches are bone dry, we can take a look. Now the brand X is, again, that's uh, any number of different leading national brands that we pick the colors that most closely mimic that of the Soho. Even though that there's a two-third less saturation of the Soho versus the brand X, they are fairly comparable, if not darker in some cases. So why is this such a big deal if it's, it's, a, if it's a marginal difference? Well, this again goes back to that savings. If you're going to use two-thirds less paint with the Soho than Brand X, then that's a lot more bang for your buck. So I hope you enjoy this series of Prove It, and we'll see you again next time. Now it's time for our final test, the strength test. Oh, that's a lot of pigment.